Vic Morrow rose to prominence in the 60s and 70s with memorable roles in film and television. He showcased a remarkable range as an actor, playing characters who were often complex, flawed, and deeply human. But his life and career were tragically cut short in 1982 when he was killed in a helicopter accident while filming The Twilight Zone, the movie. Join Facts First as we present Vic Morrow's cause of death at 53 was truly tragic. Vic Morrow's career as an actor spanned several decades. He began in the late 50s, appearing in small roles in films like Blackboard Jungle and God's Little Acre. In the 60s, he landed a series of prominent television roles, including a recurring role on the hit show Combat. Morrow's career continued to thrive in the 70s. He starred in the critically acclaimed TV movie The Execution of Private Slovak and had memorable roles in films like Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, The Bad News Bears, and The Blackboard Jungle. In 1979, he received critical acclaim for his portrayal of the racist cop in the film The Champ, opposite John Voight and Faye Dunaway. Morrow was known for his intense and often explosive performances and wasn't afraid to take on controversial or challenging roles. Sadly, Vic's life came to a horrible end when he was killed in a bizarre on-set accident. The Tragic Accident Twilight Zone the movie was a film adaptation of the popular TV series The Twilight Zone. Filmed in 1982, it consisted of four separate segments, each directed by a different filmmaker, including Steven Spielberg, John Landis, George Miller, and Joe Dante. Vic was cast in one of the segments directed by Landis. The segment, titled Time Out, told the story of a racist man who travels through time and experiences various forms of discrimination. In one scene, Morrow's character is transformed transported back to the Vietnam War era where he finds himself in the midst of a firefight. Morrow played the role of Bill Connor, a disillusioned Vietnam vet trying to save two Vietnamese children from the chaos of war. The scene was being filmed on July 23, 1982, at night on a ranch in California, and it involved the use of special effects, pyrotechnics, and a low-flying helicopter. Morrow and two child actors, Micah Din Lei and Renee Shin Yi Chen, were standing in a riverbed when the helicopter approached from behind, hovering at a height of about 25 feet. The special effects explosion was detonated, and the helicopter spun out of control, crashing into Morrow and the two children. The accident was witnessed by several crew members and other actors, including Landis himself. Morrow and the two children were killed instantly, and several other people were injured. The aftermath was chaotic, with Landis and the other crew members struggling to come to terms with what had happened. The aftermath. The incident sparked a massive investigation and a wave of controversy surrounding the safety standards on film sets. Landis and several other crew members were ultimately charged with involuntary manslaughter, but they were acquitted after a lengthy trial. The families of the victims received substantial settlements in civil lawsuits against the filmmakers and the studio. The tragedy had a profound impact on the film industry, leading to the implementation of stricter safety regulations and protocols for special effects and stunt work. The incident also had a significant impact on the families of the victims and the Hollywood community. Morrow, who was a well-respected and accomplished actor, had left behind a wife and two daughters. His death, along with the deaths of the two child actors, was a shock to the industry. It also sparked a discussion about the ethics of using child actors in dangerous film scenes. The two children who died were both under the age of 10 and had been hired as extras. Many in the industry questioned the decision to include such young children in a scene involving pyrotechnics in a low-flying helicopter. Sparked by the tragedy, the film industry implemented new safety standards and protocols for special effects, stunts, and other potentially dangerous scenes. It also prompted a greater emphasis on training and education for those working in the industry, particularly in the areas of special effects and pyrotechnics. Vic's Insurance Policy There have long been rumors that Vic took out an insurance policy before filming The Twilight Zone, the movie, because he somehow sensed he was in danger. And that's partly true, though the details have been skewed a bit in the years since. He did take out a policy for himself, and it was indeed because he'd have to film in a helicopter. However, this happened years before the movie, and it happened because he was filming a different movie called Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. 
In that film, Vic's character, Captain Franklin, was supposed to be chasing down one of the film's protagonists, Larry, in a helicopter. Morrow was clearly apprehensive and told the producers he wouldn't be in the scene unless they took out a $1 million life insurance policy for him. When they initially resisted, he pushed further, saying he'd leave the film entirely. So they caved and he flew in the helicopter, albeit with reluctance. Things went fine on the shoot and Morrow was relieved. This was particularly true because of an odd premonition he had. When asked about why he insisted on that insurance policy, he replied, quote, I have always had a premonition that I'll be killed in a helicopter crash. At the time, it seemed a little crazy and paranoid, but obviously we now know he was later killed in a helicopter accident. So in that sense, the prediction was eerily accurate. And while he did indeed have an insurance policy in place for him that was tied to the risks of shooting scenes with a helicopter, it didn't actually come about strictly because of the helicopter in the Twilight Zone, the movie. Also, in an amazing coincidence, the pilot of the helicopter that ultimately killed Morrow was a man named Gary McClarty, and Gary was actually in Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry 2. He played a state trooper. Lessons from Vic's insurance claim. Vic's $1 million policy paid out to his family in the event of his death. Some saw this as evidence that Morrow had been aware of the risks involved in both films and took steps to protect his loved ones in the event something went wrong. Others, however, saw it as a grim reminder of the dangers actors and other film professionals face every day on set. In an industry where special effects and stunts are often used to create dramatic and stunning scenes, there's always a risk of injury or death, even for experienced and talented performers. The incident on the set of The Twilight Zone ultimately led to a greater emphasis on safety in the industry, as well as new regulations and protocols for special effects and stunt work. But the tragedy also serves as a reminder of the importance of taking steps to protect yourself and your loved ones, even in the face of seemingly impossible risks. The Lawsuit Morrow's family filed a lawsuit against Warner Brothers, the studio that produced the film, as well as director John Landis and several crew members. It alleged that the filmmakers had been reckless in their pursuit of an exciting and visually stunning scene and ignored numerous safety protocols. It was further complicated by the fact that Morrow had repeatedly expressed concerns about the safety of the scene before filming, but had been assured by Landis and others it was safe. The trial was lengthy, with testimony from dozens of witnesses and experts in the fields of special special effects and stunt work. Morrow's family argued the filmmakers had been negligent in their handling of the scene, while Warner Brothers and Landis maintained the accident had been an unforeseeable and tragic event. In the end, the jury found Landis and other crew members not guilty of involuntary manslaughter, and Warner Brothers was cleared of wrongdoing. Though apparently, Morrow's daughters did receive a settlement out of court from Warner Brothers, and Steven Spielberg settled on a civil suit brought against him as a producer and co-director of the movie. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Vic Morrow eerily predicted his own death? Let us know in the comments section below.